Hey there. So, um, I used to make videos, uh, and I'm a little embarrassed about them, and I kind of hope that my friends don't watch them now, because I was sort of going through a rough time, and, um, but I've been going through some, like, crazy school stuff, and only thinking about school, and I just got into the home, like, stretch of this term, and just... No, I just got out of the home stretch of this term and, like, finished my last, like, stressful project. And, um, I don't want to think about school. Um, so I thought I would make a video again, um, about my glasses. So these glasses, um, I don't know if you can see them. Um, here. I've had these glasses, um, I want to say like eight years. I got them like not long after finishing high school. So, and I'm 26 now. I finished high school at 18. These glasses, um, were like awesome and the coolest glasses ever when I got them and I still actually really like them. Um, but they are really gross and when I get kind of nervous... Because I don't wear them while I'm reading all the time. If I get nervous and I'm, like, chewing on them, they kind of have this, like, gross hairspray taste to them. So that's not good. Um, and I think they're the wrong prescription. I've had other glasses during during these eight years, um, and I keep coming back to these. So um, I just got new glasses today. Um, I ordered them like a week ago, um, but they had to put the lenses in and so I just got a call that they were ready and so I went to pick them up. And um, so I wanted to show them off. Um, I'm wearing these as sort of a before reference point um, because the second that I ordered these really sweet new glasses, like ever since then I've just been like, I keep looking at my glasses and, uh, being really feeling like they're not cool and just, I don't know, just been very excited. So, but first I wanted to share this other glasses related story that's from the other night. The other night, um, I, uh, was driving, it was like midnight, I went through a pothole, there's a lot of potholes in Detroit, this particular one was on Michigan Avenue, and one of my friends said, oh, did you hit the bad one? Um, I guess it was the bad one. Um, and, um, my, uh, well, I drove the rest of the way to my friend's house, but then, uh, because I stopped and I couldn't figure out what was wrong and the tire wasn't flat. And so I got there and like my friend, I was with my friend, Jesse, my friend, Laura came out and like saved me and we figured out that I had dented the rim. So, um, I put the spare on. And within, like, ten minutes, I went through a pothole with the spare and, like, did the same thing and ruined it. Like, the tire, the tire itself came off of the wheel. And so I was sitting there, like, on Woodward, um, with no wheel on my car. Um, whatever, whatever. I got home. Eventually, Laura came back out and saved me again. Um... And I got home at like 2.30 in the morning and um, had to be up for work the next day. But I was just so wired from like sitting around waiting for the tow truck to come. And so um, I, I couldn't go to bed. So I like start, I decided, okay, I'm, I'm going to wrap Christmas presents now. Um, and so I get all this stuff together to wrap Christmas presents and then... I realize I don't have any tape, so I start tearing the house apart, looking for tape, and um, I couldn't find any tape. And so, and I'm kind of like, well, obviously, like, it's the middle of the night, and I decided it's Christmas present wrapping time. I'm, like, kind of out of my mind, and um, so I'm, like, looking for other things, and, like, I couldn't find any glue, and then I was like, well, maybe I could staple them, and I realized, like, if I'm going to wrap my Christmas presents like a month early, I shouldn't make them look like it was the last minute and I was like, staple. Um, and so then I opened, 
yeah. So I, I, but while I was searching, so at some point then, like, I got the idea that I should sew them shut. And, and that was the point at which I realized, like, I need to go to bed right now. And that was, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. I spent all this, like, an hour and a half looking for tape. And so, but while I was looking for tape, I found all this other stuff that I had lost, including, this is where we get to the glasses part of this, um, all summer I could not find, I like kept looking for my prescription sunglasses and could never find them while I found them. And so I was very excited, but it's not the right season for that anymore in Detroit. Um, so then I stayed up, I got like eight hours, like total Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, cause it was a crazy weekend. Um, that was Friday night that the car thing happened. Saturday night I went out, and then Sunday night I was working on a paper, um, and I was at the library till 3.30 in the morning. I don't usually do that. I don't usually, yeah, I, I'm not usually, ugh. So, but yeah, so I just, I managed my time wrong, whatever. So I was at the library till like 3.30 in the morning with a friend working on this paper that I turned in yesterday. And the next day, so I got like two hours of sleep and I had to get up early, go to work, and then go straight to school after that. And so I was going to school and I was like, oh my God, I look like a dead person. So I got like the brilliant idea that I was going to wear my sunglasses to school because I thought like, also I'll kind of look cool. Um, so I wore these. Um, which I think on here they look a little bit darker than they are. They're not actually that dark. They're almost completely light at the bottom. Um, but they're mirrored, so they look darker. I don't know why they look so dark right now. Um, so I wore these. I wore these during class, and then I was in class sitting there wearing sunglasses and then I kept thinking god this looks really unprofessional to be wearing sunglasses and my real glasses were in my bag but at that point I was like already wearing sunglasses in class and I thought if I got my gla real glasses out of my bag and put them on like it would look even ruder because it would be like I had real glasses with me the whole time and I chose not to wear them um, but I was really just trying to hide the fact that I was tired and get a chance to wear my cool sunglasses and not have to wear the glasses that I was so over. So then I got a call yesterday, but I didn't even listen to the message till today. I think I got the call during class. And I listened to the message today and it was that my glasses were ready. So on the way to pick up my car, which was ready, um, I had to go get my sister because I had her car and she had helped me. So on the way to pick up my car, my car, I went and I picked up my new glasses. Um, so I got two pairs of glasses. So um, I'm super excited about them. So now I'm going to show those. So the first pair that I got, is it this one? Yeah. The first pair that I got, which I think these are a little bit, less the style that I've been wearing, a little bit more hip. Maybe they're a little too hip for me, I don't know. So, these ones, um, well no, like this. So, and then I had my hair over here, but they didn't look right and I thought I looked bad. I was like, having a bad hair day. The thing that I, I had short hair for years and ugly glasses, ugly glasses and short hair for years while I was, I don't know, I was in a relationship with someone who wanted my hair to be ugly or thought it looked good if it was, if it looked ugly. Um, so, but then I've been growing it out again. And the thing that I forgot about long hair is that if I'm having a bad hair day, sometimes if I just do this. It looks good again. So, these are my new glasses. Um, 
Um, you get to see my really bad skin if I go do this too, but just don't look. So these are my new glasses, and I think they're maybe a little too hip for me, but maybe I just have to be a little more hip. Um, so these are those. So then my other pair of glasses, which is with my sister, and she likes them. She said she liked this other pair better. I wanted to get a pair that was not black. So I was going to get, like, I wanted to get a pair that was, like, tortoise shell, but then the ones that they had in tortoise shell I didn't like, and the ones that I liked they didn't have in tortoise shell. So the my attempt at a not black pair of glasses that you really can't tell are not black, but maybe they're just a little softer, um, which are maybe a little bit, so there's these, maybe a little bit more the style of glasses that I've always worn, only bigger. My pair before these ones that are the last eight years of my life were smaller, so I feel like every time I get glasses they're a little bit bigger. Because bigger is better, if we're talking about glasses. Or these ones. So if you can see, you can't really tell maybe if I do this. They're a little bit blue, but they're like navy. So, so then I wore these to class today. And one thing that I am noticing I really like about these glasses is they kind of slip down a little bit like this. And if I'm really absorbed in something and I don't fix them right away, or if they just keep slipping down and I get sick of it um, and I don't push them up like this, people will think that I look like I'm like so busy doing something really smart. I'm doing something really smart like librarian stuff or something and I'm just too busy to like push them up. Maybe not. But so these are my new glasses. These. These. And old but new to me again. ones should I wear? Which ones are best? Which ones are cutest? I can't even tell. Guess I just have to wear them all. Okay. I've been talking about self-absorbed, shallow, glasses stuff for a while, and it feels really good. Because I've been in such school mode. So, yep. Bye.